हेलो पाथ प्रोग्रामर सो दिस इज द वीडियो सेकेंड ऑफ आर टेलीग्राम ऑटोमेशन प्रोजेक्ट सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई शो यू दिट हाई कैन क्रिएट अ टेलीग्राम बॉर्ड दैट आज द यूजर फॉर एन इमेज एंड देन डाउनलोडेड एंड देन आज द यूजर फॉर हिज और हर लोकेशन एंड देन सेव दैम इन टू अ वेरिएबल लेट से एंड या दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोना क्रिएट इन दिस वीडियो नाउ If you haven't seen our previous video, then go back and watch that first. Because in that video, I've shown you how to install the package required, how to create a bot, and everything that is is required for a bot. Okay, so let's move ahead in this video. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import the required library. Now I'm trying out one new thing in this project or in this video. I'll spend less time on writing the code and i'll try to copy paste the code and spend most of the time explaining them okay so uh, let me first import the required library so we need uh, actually these library first is the telegram library which is the python telegram bot library and these are some of the classes that we require like filters message handler the command handler and we also need logging now we haven't used logging in our previous video we'll be using logging to get uh, the user info or to update the user info okay so let's save this and let's uh, set up the logging okay let's set up the logging and let's enable uh, all the commands okay so we'll be having three commands okay first command is to get the image second command will be uh, to get the location and the third command is to get uh, the final uh, let's say message okay so uh, you have been enrolled and we'll call you back now i'm looking this side because i have a monitor here where all the code is written so in the later section if you watch me looking here then i'm looking at the second screen okay so uh, let's take all the logging info and paste it here just a second so okay copy paste okay so basically we are taking the name of the user this is the basic configuration and then we have used this logger variable to get the name the username of uh, the telegram the user that is using telegram okay and then we are having these three variable photo location and bio bio means the final message that we say thank you for logging in or whatever that is okay now let's start off with the initialization okay so now let me explain you that what is happening here we have already seen in the previous video that what is an updater and what is a dispatcher this this updater accepts the token of the bot and then the dispatcher finally makes the uh, execution of the command and then we have the conversation handler now here we are having a conversation with the user right we are having multiple commands to be executed after the user answers a specific question so we are having a conversation handler we have imported this class over here so you can see okay so we are having three basic commands first is the photo we are asking for uh, the image the user also has a option to skip this part so we also have a skip uh, option then we have location okay so location also has a skip option then we have the bio bio is like the final uh, message that the user get that okay so you have been logged in or you have been registered okay then we have this uh, fall back which is the cancel command let's say user by mistakenly uh, by mistakenly uh, started your bot so they can cancel it okay then we are adding the handler and then we are updating the polling or we are starting it and then we are also maintaining this bot in the idle mode okay now let's create our functions which will actually ask the user for the image and the location okay okay so first is the initial function uh, which will be started as soon as we click on uh, the bot initialization button so you can see it accepts two parameter update and context okay 
and then here we are updating the message from the user actually we don't uh, we do not need in the first step what we can do is we can straight away start from the logger okay so logger is getting the info and then printing it to us name of the user is user dot first name okay so actually we need it here. okay so we need it uh, we need it here to get the first name it is updating okay and then we are updating the message with a text back reply okay send me a photo of yourself so that we can register you or you can even skip if you click on this skip button it will redirect you to a next function that will be writing okay and then it will return the photo okay we'll be writing the photo function just now okay okay so now we have this photo function again it accepts two parameter update and callback user is updated here and stored in this user variable then we have created this photo file variable in which we are storing the file okay so we are using this get file method to store the data of the image into this uh, photo file variable and then we are using this dot download uh, method to download this photo and store it with the name user photo dot jpg okay then again we are using logger to write uh, the detail of the user in our shell a photo of the user the user name is this user photo dot jpg you can even change it to to the username okay and then we are writing this message we are updating it with this text message perfect almost complete now send me your location also have a cancellation button okay now let's write the skip photo button first let's say the user want to skip uh, the uh, sending of the photo so what will be that function so let's write that function first okay so this is the function that will skip again two parameters update and context the user variable will have the data of the user and then the logger displaying us the information of the user user did not send the photo if the user say, uh, clicks this uh, do not send or i don't want to send button then the logger will display that the user hasn't sent uh, the photo okay so this will be displayed to the user uh okay no problem now send me the location if you want and again we are having a skip button if the user doesn't want to send the location okay so now let's first update the location button okay so we'll update the location button here okay so this is the location button again two parameters here user is getting updated with the name and then we are having this user location variable and then update dot message dot location we are extracting the location that the user has sent and then to us we are writing location of first the user name then user location dot latitude and and user location dot longitude so we are returning the latitude and longitude of the user so that we can search on the google maps or whatever maps you are using to search for the nearest let's say center of your service let's say that you are creating a coaching chain right so you are registering the user and then uh, and then just recommending them that this is the nearest uh, coaching center of our chain okay so uh, let's move ahead this is the message that will be displayed okay uh, we will take this into consideration and notify you when a new center is set up and at last uh, tell us if you have any remarks okay so this is the message that will be displayed to the user and after that after the user has entered a remark we want to just uh, say goodbye with a goodbye message but before that we also want a function that uh, gives the command if the user selects this cancel button no i don't want to send you location so what will be the function having all those commands so this is the function again two parameters required user variable is having the updated user data 
and then again this logger will display the user to us user this did not send a location this is the username and then we are writing this message to the user okay no problem at least tell us if you have any remark okay so we are moving it to the bio uh, function okay okay so this is the bio function let me add some space here okay so again accepting two parameter user is having the data of the user logger info review by the username and then the message that the user has written okay and then we'll write this message to the user that thank you we'll call you soon and then we are returning conversation handler dot end so here the conversation is ended no more commands we want to execute from here okay but still a few commands are left actually only one command is left uh, which is the cancel button now in the starting only we have this cancel option that if user has by mistakenly entered this board and they want to cancel then they can cancel uh yep okay so we have to cancel and i by mistake uh ran the command just a second so we have two cancel buttons okay so once again the drill is the same two parameters here user variable will have all the data of the user logger this is the data which will be displayed to us user this has cancelled the conversation and this is the user name and then we'll reply this uh, with this message thank you we'll call you soon this is not the appropriate answer uh, actually let's write an appropriate answer here uh, let's say reach us back if you have uh, if you have any query okay so uh, not a query it's query okay so let's save this and what you need to do is uh, okay i know that this is an error uh, what you need to do is you need to write your token hand now also uh, i have copy pasted the code so there are surely some indentation mistakes that i am pretty sure so just give me some time so that i can fix those indentation mistake this is the disadvantage of python that if you are uh, copy pasting the command some of the invisible indentation are also copied and then they raise error while the execution of the program so let me just do that and let me just write the token here now in this string you have to write your token i have written the uh, word token but here you have to write your actual token that uh, you got while creating the bot okay so let me do all these thing and i'll meet you in just a second okay so now i have written the key the bot key and also updated the indentation let's say if you are having any error uh, no our program is working fine so let me open telegram okay so uh, one instance is already uh created the bot is already running so actually this error happens a lot if uh you are practicing on on the same bot so what i'll do is i'll restart the system uh so that if any of the bot instances are running in the background they are just clear okay so just give me a second let me restart my computer and we'll meet again a few moments later okay so i am back let me open the, the telegram but first let's run the program and i hope that this time the same error won't pop up so let me open my bot let's initialize the bot and okay so the username let me minimize it if it is possible let me minimize it uh so just a second uh so okay uh it is asking for me to upload an image so what i'll do is i'll operate this from my smartphone so i'll open telegram and uh, open this and send a image okay so here you can see photo of i know python and if we go back to the folder where the 
uh, program is i guess it will take some time because i am having so many folders uh, okay 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 so here you can see that this is the image it took a lot of time because there are lot of uh, folders in my this pc okay so let's move back okay so i have sent the image now let me send the location so i won't be showing you this because i don't want to leak my location basically okay so here you can see that the location of i know python is something because i don't want to show something you can try it on your own if you want so uh, what was the next step now the next step was we will take this into consideration when the next setup at least uh, tell us any remarks so let's say that um, now i guess because of me the text is not visible so i'll i'll move myself or i'll move this okay so this is the text that is visible so let's say koi dikkat ki baat nahi hai so let's send it and thanks and we'll call you soon so let me show you uh, and here you can see that this is the message review by i know python koi dikkat ki baat nahi i have also shown you my latitude and longitude but what's the problem no one is coming to visit me <laughs> okay so yep this was a short video and in this video i have shown you that how you can ask the user for the image and then simply download it and how you can ask the user for location and save them into variable now you can simply save them into variable if you want like here is a location you can save them into variable and then save them into a database if you want okay so yep this was it and i'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more often okay so meet you there bye bye